One Indiana county is seeing an alarming number in the rate of childhood cancers. Parents are taking up the issue with the EPA, but it is an uphill battle, especially in a part of the country that firmly voted for Donald Trump and his promise to roll back environmental regulations. CNN's Miguel Marquez has this Eyewitness News investigation suffering in the suburbs. I said, I love you, baby girl. And she said, I love you too, mom. Carrie Reinhardt's 13-year-old daughter, Emma, developed a rare and aggressive brain cancer in 2014. Her last words? She said, Mommy, something's not right. And I said, I know. I said, they're trying, they're trying to fix it. Um, Emma died the next day, less than four months after her diagnosis. At the same hospital that same year, Stacy Davidson's 10-year-old stepson, Zane, was diagnosed with leukemia. Three years later, he's in remission. You start to see the lineup of the kids getting chemo, and you knew three of them at least from Johnson County every time you were in the hospital. Dozens of children developing cancer in this once industrial suburb south of Indianapolis. Some parents increasingly convinced a toxic chemical is to blame. One concern here, Donald Trump, who easily won this county. The regulation business has become a terrible business and we're going to bring it down to where it should be. His administration's environmental rollback may be complicating efforts to get answers and do what they feel necessary to protect their children. Good? Yep. Last June, Aaron Tilley's family got the news. Garrett is 12 years old and was diagnosed with um, B cell ALL. There was just some warning signs that I noticed, so we took him to the pediatrician and she did some blood work and then called us and let us know that it was leukemia. The hunch could all these cancers stem from a common source. A mother's hunch. Mom got. <laughs> Mom got. Driven by loss and love, Davidson and Reinhardt created the group If It Was Your Child. They have since logged 58 pediatric cancer cases across Johnson County from 2008 to 2018. 24 of them in the town of Franklin alone. With the help of a local reporter, their mom gut led them to this nondescript old industrial site on the northern end of town where the carcinogen TCE, or trichloroethylene, had been dumped directly into city sewers for decades. The EPA studied the contaminated site in the 1980s and a system to remove TCE was finally installed in the 90s. But decades later, revisiting the site in a city now more interested in economic development was for some unwelcome. We've been called um, fear mongers mm -hmm. by agencies. Overly emotional. Paranoid moms. Mm -hmm. The whole like if you're critical then you you know you don't like Franklin or you're bashing Franklin to me is the equivalent of saying if I criticize Donald Trump I'm anti-American and to me those two the, that does not go hand in hand in fact I feel I'm more American they wanted more testing when government agencies didn't step up the environmental nonprofit Edison Wetlands Association did it hired local environmental consultant John Mundell we found impacts in the air ambient air that match some of the indoor air chemicals were found in the homes. The results changed everything. It went from, we knew it, to, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? They prompted the EPA to retest the site last year, revealing an underground plume of TCE under homes and neighborhoods and possibly expanding. The government put TCE on a list of cancer-causing chemicals in 2005, and Obama planned to restrict its use. The Trump administration has moved to delay that and many other environmental rules deemed too onerous on business and industry. I think when you're relaxing environmental laws like is happening currently, the tendency is to not be aggressive in assessing sites. And so sites like this across the country would probably continue to be uh, kind of put it on the back burner. The cancers in Franklin have not been directly linked to TCE, but persistent mom gut drives Davidson and Reinhardt to seek further testing and a remedy to make their town TCE free. In a statement, the EPA said, we take the situation in the city of Franklin seriously and have worked expeditiously to investigate, develop a plan, implement the plan, and communicate our findings to the mayor and citizens of Franklin. EPA is committed to continuing this effort as long as it takes to ensure all contamination is addressed.
Nationwide, there are hundreds, possibly thousands of sites similar to Franklin. What is your message to the president? He has children. You know, I mean, it, it just goes to our namesake of our organization. What would you do if it was your child? How hard would you fight? Indiana's Department of Health counted even more instances of childhood cancers in the county than the moms did. The EPA plans to investigate why that underground plume went undetected for so long.